5491 here. Uh, I'm going to shoot a quick video on my KW Design uh, ANH 2.0. This is the original helmet that I got um, back when I joined the 501st Legion five years ago uh, this past May. And the uh, reason I'm making a video is uh, because I'm about to sell it to a friend of mine. Actually, it's more of a, uh, a trade deal. But this is the actual helmet that I wore in the movie Paul with uh, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Sigourney Weaver, uh, Universal Studios movie. Um, I'm actually uh, in the deleted scenes and in uh, the main scene right after uh, Nick Frost uh, decides he don't want to buy the sword at the convention scene. Um, I don't have the helmet on in that scene, but you can see as they walk away right after the sword scene, I walk away, or actually I walk right in front of them. And then right after that scene ends, you see a Orange Pauldron Sand Trooper 12-inch uh, figure right there by the TV, which I had my Orange Pauldron on. I was actually a featured extra uh, specifically requested for the movie. Um, so while I hate to see it go, I know it's going to a good guy that uh, will appreciate it. And uh, he is a uh, big fan of uh, movies and uh, that type of thing. So... Uh, when I say I'm getting a good deal for this, I'm definitely getting a good deal, and uh, of course that's uh, my business. But anyways, it's definitely worth me getting rid of the helmet. Um, I will miss it. It is uh, all Rotocast resin. I've actually dropped it uh, one time during Mardi Gras at the parade, um, and of course it didn't do any damage. Um, uh, it's definitely had its fair share of weathering, uh, you know, little nicks and and you know things here and there those are actual uh, real damage um, and uh, I like this one a lot of people wear the plastic ones the ABS the H the hips and all that good stuff but I uh, always liked uh, OSCS KW designs uh, if y'all want to check them out go to uh, imperial surplus uh, dot com I believe uh, he makes all kinds of clone helmets uh, really talented uh, guy and a really great guy, fellow 501st member. Um, definitely tell him Walt sent you, and uh, he'll hook you up. Um, but anyways, got some, I got some, some screen in there. I used the actual fiberglass screen. A little bit more real looking to me instead of the, the metal look. And of course I got the, these are actually resin casted uh, Hovey tip, mic tips, and it's got the real metal in it. Of course all that comes with the kit. Um, these are actually new stickers. Um, I ended up getting some more from them a while back uh, before the movie. had a couple of them, I guess, because they were old. They were kind of coming up, so I ended up putting some new ones on all the way around and, of course, weathering them down uh, to uh, make them look a little bit more uh, used and weathered. Um, other than that, that's about it on this thing. I definitely hate to see it go, like I said. Uh, my original Sand Trooper helmet. Uh, it's very, uh, very sturdy. I'll give you a, a quick view of the, uh, the inside here. Of course, there's my uh, Simon Pegg autograph. And uh, got the fans in here. I left the fans in there so it could be matched to, uh, to the screen so uh, you could see that it's actually used uh, in the movie and can be matched up in the movie. As you see, these are real screws. Uh, if you go look at your light switches in your house, that's these screws right here, these original screws. And in the original helmets, uh, when they made the movie, these bolts were the actual bolts that hold the visor in. And of course, that's just a green face shield, welder shield, or face shield. Um, as you can see, I put screen all up in it and wired all my fans. Uh, um, and I'm leaving all that in there. But uh, anyways, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the look at my helmet, and uh, we'll see you soon.